guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. Today I'm going to do a DIY for you. It is how to do your nails at home with no acrylic and no damage under five pounds. So if you want to learn how to get these little nails for under five pounds, carry on watching and enjoy. So basically all you need is some fake nails. I bought these in bulk from Amazon for about seven pounds. You can pick nails up in any drugstore from as cheap as a pound. A nail file, this is a pretty strong, sturdy one. They are best um, some nail clippers. These are my really cute pink ones. I've had these since I went to college. These are probably the best ones because they can guide you to how much you want to clip off so much easier. Some nail glue. This one is really strong and it dries really quickly. I recommend it so, so much. It's only about £2. Um, I will link it down below. You can buy it in drugstores and like, you know, shopping. When you go shopping, food shopping. <laughs> um, some nail varnishes. Any colour you like. I went for a nudie greyish colour because I think it looks really nice on long, um, longer nails. I always think that it's good to put on a top coat. I use a gel effect one. I bought the gel effect one from m and I think it makes your nails look more like acrylic like. So before I stick my nails on or put anything on my nails, I just like to rough my nails up a little bit with um, my nail file. Just rough it up a little bit. Don't damage your own nails. It just makes your nails stick um, a little bit better. If you want to skip that part, that's totally fine. But I do recommend it because it does make your nails stick on for a lot longer. <laughs> So what I'm doing now is I'm measuring my fake nails up to my real nails so I can make sure I've got the right sizes to stick onto my nails. I've got my nails ready it is time to glue them on um, it's pretty simple you can see what I'm doing I think we all know how to glue nails on just don't put too much glue on and don't put too less glue on basically <laughs> So once they're all stuck on, you can either leave them how they are, it depends what nails you've got. Um, but mine are a little bit too long, so I like to just file mine down and cut them. So I'm going to show you how I do it. finished filing them and cutting them to however you like it is time to paint them when I'm painting my nails I like to leave a tiny little gap from um, my cuticle so it looks like they've kind of grown out it just when you do that it kind of look it makes them look longer and it just looks so much neater um yeah just so basically all you do is leave a little gap and then it looks better so once I've finished painting my nails and let them dry, I go over with the top coat. This top coat is really, really good. It is from Marks and Spencers. It is a gel top coat and it really, really does actually make a big difference. <laughs> my nails they're completely dry they don't look dry at all do they but they are completely dry this is a top coat what makes it look like finishes it off and makes it look so so nice I think that they look pretty good to me they look like acrylic nails and how much do they cost me all together less than five pounds <laughs> I hope you did enjoy.
enjoy it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do that because that would be amazing. It would mean a lot to me. Um, yeah, follow all my social media. Um, it's all down below. My Instagram is Bryony Ann Harris and my Twitter is Bryony Harris too. So until next time, I will see you very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs> that was a really fake line. <laughs>